Hello everybody, today I'll make a video about an honest review for RCA Outdoor Attic Compact Design HD Antenna I picked up today from Walmart. It was a $35 plus tax and also you have to buy the coax cable. That was an additional $17. But it's not included, just like at Christmas time, batteries are not included with all toys that you buy. So I have to say, I'm impressed with this uh, antenna. As you can see, I'm watching NASCAR right now, live. I got a lot more channels than I thought I was going to get. So let me take a second, I'll show you the exact product I'm talking about. And I'll show you what it looks like outside. So here is the actual box. It's RCA Attic Slash Outdoor Compact Design HD Antenna 70 mile range. And it also comes with a free signal finder adapter, which you gotta download in the App Store. It's made by RCA. It's actually pretty cool. It shows you where to point your antenna. So I'm using this a lot more, this little download device from RCA. I'll show you what it looks like on the outside. Okay, so there she is. If you're scared of heights, you might want to ask a friend to help out or hire somebody. It really wasn't too bad of a job. It took a little bit of time. But I got an unobstructed view. So I figured the higher you go, the better off you'll be. I used the uh, app that came, or I downloaded, to find which way to point to get the best signal. And I would say it wasn't that hard, but it was time consuming. And an average person uh, should be able to do this. But if you're scared of heights, you might want to ask somebody else. So in regards to this antenna, it uh, looks pretty good. It's pretty high quality, I, I believe. Nothing seemed cheap on it. It came with all the parts it was supposed to come with which is a huge plus. I didn't have to go looking for any parts that were missing or go back to the store because that's nothing but a big pain in the butt. But like I said, it's all metal, all constructed, and it seems pretty rigid, so I think it will survive the first windstorm. So I'll take it back inside. I'm back. You still see we still got NASCAR on. I know what you're thinking. Turn left, turn left, turn left, turn left, which is true. And what I can say about NASCAR, I'll make another video if you want about NASCAR, but NASCAR has been pretty boring since they got rid of Gordon, Stewart, uh, Earnhardt, the Wallaces. NASCAR is pretty boring, just like wrestling has turned to over the years. Just back in the day with Hulk Hogan and Macho Man. But those are all other videos we can make, so we'll go back to the antenna. You can see I got an awesome picture here. I think it's even HD. So I would recommend and give two thumbs up to this antenna. It's doing a great job. I was thinking about it because I'm a thinker. Some people think I'm a daydreamer, but I like to think a lot. If you're not sure if this antenna is going to work for you, you might want to try a little test. Um, if you got a, an indoor antenna, if you got a little TV you can take outside possibly and turn it on and then have it scan the channels outside with the outdoor antenna that you currently have indoors because a lot of times with an indoor antenna that it'll freeze up and it'll stop so I would go in there uh, get aggravated so I recommend uh, grab a little scratch paper and write down all the channels you get and if any of them don't work or if they, they freeze a little bit write down that that channel freezes and I, I picked up approximately uh, 60 channels in the Buffalo, New York area, which is crazy uh, because I have a Spectrum cable. They are a big ripoff. And what I can say is I see all the commercials all the time for them because they own the network. I would say they give you so little for so much. When I first signed up, uh, it was $89, and on top of all the fees, it came to $130 a month. Nothing but a ripoff, so I can't support those guys. And uh, would I recommend them? Absolutely not. 
Not at all. They just charge way too much. I'm not looking to own the company or buy it. I'm just looking to get a quality service for a quality price in which they do not deliver. Um, I would say, like I said, they give very little for very much. Same thing with National Fuel, but that's a whole other video I can make for my outdoor wood boiler. Uh, so go outside if you had a, uh, your own TV and your own little uh, indoor antenna and, and just do a search for the signal, see what you get, and just write it down. And, and I do believe that with enough, enough elevation and uh, no obstructions, you'll probably get a lot of channels. So for $35 plus tax, we'll say $40 bucks plus that cable is $20, so that's $60. My bill used to be, because I canceled my cut the cable, as they say, was about $80 just for cable. I got no extra channels. And they charged $9.99 for the receiver, which included a $1 security fee, which I don't care. I don't want the security fee, but you couldn't cancel just the security fee. And then they also charge you $14.99 for DVR, which is a total ripoff. And then every single month it kept going up and kept going up, kept going up. And now it was almost $17 a month to watch locals. Plus the franchise fees and the taxes. It was just it cost me $116 to watch TV. And 90% of the time I'm not home to watch TV. So I recommend looking at this antenna. I'd give it two thumbs up. It's the way to go. Leave a comment down below. And if you work for Spectrum or other cable services, I'm sorry, but I know some people know the truth. And like I said, I received no compensation for anybody in this video. Thank you, and have a nice day.